Hi guys and welcome to a short update on RC Scrappy. There was a little issue I had on the first flight. It was about the wheel axle. The original design I did on the wheel axle was a bit too weak and uh, on hard landings the axle bent and so I had to look for another solution. In this video I show you a short step-by-step -step tutorial what I did to uh, reinforce the axle, to rebuild the axle. So let's jump right into the build steps. The first axle design bent way too easy on hard landings, even with reinforcement with hardened steel rods, this didn't work. So when you look at the full scale suspension, this is way thicker material. So I decided to go for similar design as the original one. So I took 5mm diameter brass tube and removed the original axle with heat gun, then um, installed the new tube which is uh, the whole way through 5mm thick. Then I soldered on the tube using the heat gun. The heat gun needs to be at full temperature with 630 degrees and heated up the whole thing to melt the soldering. Then I uh, shaped the reinforcement of the suspension to make the suspension even stronger and look closer to scale design. Also here the same procedure with the heat gun at 630 degrees and melting the solder. The next part I did with um, using a brass tube which I hammered to a flat uh, shape and used it for a wheel stopper and shaped the right design on the drill using the Dremel and like this I got a perfect round shape which fitted on the axle. Like this the raw axle was done. Then it was time to cut the spring steel. It's 4mm spring steel which I glued into the axle using 5 minute epoxy with this additional 4mm spring steel the axle cannot bend anymore so it's really strong. Filled up the front end of the axle with epoxy to make the hole for the screw. First I drilled the epoxy with 2.2mm drill and then cut the thread into the epoxy. I just used the first stage of the thread tool just to make sure that the screw will be a little bit tight in the thread. This helps to make a self-locking thread with the screw so you don't need any Loctite or tighten up the screw like hell like this, it fits perfect. Then I had to shape the shims for the screw for the rim to perfect diameter to make it fit in the rims. Then I glued on the wheel cover, just had to remove it for the removement of the ball bearing. Glued on the carbon fiber caps on top and bottom side of the suspension. And then already time to do the paint job, so I had to cover the parts which should have no color on them. Covered everything and then used Duplicolor filler for first uh, layer and second layer was then silver paint from outdoor color uh, also acrylic paint and this gave it the perfect finish. Then had to remove all the masking. Then had to remove all the paint remains in the axle holes and just checked if the axle still fit perfect. Everything was fine. Then everything was already ready to reassemble and this is how the axle actually looks after all the modifications. Put it on the wheel and did a short check if the wheel spins perfectly and everything looked good. Also the gap between the wheel and the suspension is bigger now.
this is it for today's update on RC Scrappy. Hopefully I will come up with more flight footage. Currently we have pretty bad weather, so the flying field is soaking wet. No chance for flying, but I hope to come up soon with test flights with the new axle, also landing light tests and all that stuff. So thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one. Have a good time. Happy flying. Bye bye.